inflammation, think digestive system, and especially focus on the fat absorption system, which means fatty vitamins as well as minerals. I know there's a ton of information there, but that's a good thing, and nobody has to deal with psoriasis. Most importantly, Chuck, is treat your psoriasis as a sign that your body is in distress, and that can lead to all kinds of havoc, including ultimately shortening your life. So it's much more than an unpleasant cosmetic condition, and I, I wish I didn't have to move on. I've got all kinds of folks on hold here, Chuck, so I've got to move on. Thank you so much. God bless you, and I hope everything works out for you. All right, next on the line, let's go to Leo. What is up, Leo in Oregon? Oh, Leo, hey, my friend. Good morning. Yes, how's it going? What's, I hate to rush you, bro, but i got a bunch of folks on hold here. What's cooking, my friend? Okay, well, um, I just came off a 48-hour 48, 48 fast uh, yesterday evening. and How you feeling? Uh, I was... I'm feeling I'm feeling good, you know. I, um, you know, um, you know. Last time I was on, I talked about willingness. You know, what what makes somebody willing to be healthy? And I and I, I thought about it, and I figured, well, most people that are listening to your show are probably, uh, you know, in, in that direction already. They're probably headed right. in that direction already. So, and one thing that I that I stopped doing over the months was was actually listening to your show. And after the holidays, I was really living really healthy before about three months before the ho- holidays. Probably uh, healthier than I have been living in years. I've been. I was eating really. I was eating a lot of raw foods. I wasn't doing bad combinations. I was taking Beyond Tangy and Tangerine. I was supplementing my diet with, you know, uh, about. 70% of the vitamins and minerals you just mentioned on air. And and so, uh, but um, filling your head. So I would say one of the things to motivate people would be to, to continue to listen to the show. Because Thank you. Putting, 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 that, putting health information into your mind is going to, is going to bring you. And another thing that during my fast, I did it for, I did it for physical reasons. And about 30, 37 hours into it, I really started to feel the toxic because I, I hadn't been eating healthy before I went into this fast, and so I could really feel the toxins, you know, starting to loosen up, and my tongue was really pasty and nasty, and, you know, I started to get a, 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 a slight headache, and so I just want to let people know if you fast, you can probably expect, stuff will you know, come out. Have, stuff will come out, and you probably won't feel really, you know, great if you have a lot of bad stuff in your system, but know that it's still what you're doing is good for you. Thank and, you, uh, Lee. I, I, got, I want to take a couple more calls. Leah, we're going to talk about fasting uh, not next week, but the week after. Can I get you to listen in, maybe contribute when we, we cover fasting? Sure, sounds good. Thank you so much, Leo, and I apologize for doing that to you. I hate cutting people off, but we've got all these guys on hold here, and I want to get to as many calls as we can. Thank you, Leo. Uh, thanks for your call. Vicki, real quick, what's up, girl? Hi, how you doing? Doing well. I am good. I have been suffering with bouts of gout. And sugar, my dear. Uric, uric acid and sugar and diabetes. Maybe some kidney problems also. Are you overweight at all? Uh, yes, slightly, but I'm working on that. Okay, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a beat I'm beat, up, beat you up on it, but I'm just telling you there's a link between blood sugar control and gout. In fact, first thing okay. you want to think about with gout is blood sugar, uh, okay. especially fructose. There's a major relationship between gout and fructose. I'd be dramatically cutting my intake of fruits, fruit juices. Um, fruit juices are probably best eliminated if you're already dealing with gout as processed foods and sugars. Shift into more protein, especially whey protein and essential fatty acids, and start taking in sugar metabolizing nutrients. That's very helpful for gout. The B complex, uh, niacin, the vitamin B1. Get on the sweeties from longevity, which is chromium and vanadium. Use cinnamon. And uh, also, there's another really neat herb called fenugreek, which can have some really neat uh, sugar control benefits. F E N U G R E E K. You can make fenugreek tea. Fenugreek tea is also good for your hormones uh, if you're dealing with premenstrual issues for female hormone issues. Uh, and then uh, and the B complex, thiamine, vitamin B1, and niacin are very important. The minerals. Zinc can be helpful for folks dealing with gout. Magnesium is a super, super, super mineral for a lot of things, but also uh, very helpful for gout, too. But focus on blood sugar issues if you're dealing with gout, and focus especially on fructose. Uh, if you have gout, that may have, be a sign that you're having some problems with your kidneys as well. So it's super important, yeah. that, you address, it's super important that you address the gout to prevent any long-term uh, breakdown in the body. And I apologize for uh, having to drop you here, Vicki, as with Leo, because uh, we only have about a minute to I want to try and get as many folks in here as possible. Isaac in Michigan, what's going on, brother? So I had a question. My girl thinks she's anemic and she goes to the hospital to get these shots. Isaac, I need you to get off the speakerphone or however you're doing. I can't hear you, bro. 
the eye of her girlfriend, she's anemic, and she goes to the hospital to get these iron shots, and it causes yeah. her skin to fall out real bad. That iron thing for anemia is just dumb, 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 because if you're not processing iron through the digestive tract, and most folks with anemia are not processing their foods, that iron is not going to make it into the blood. It's just stupidity, people. Uh, you can't just take iron for anemia. Anemia is a defect of red blood cells. It's a problem making red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen. If you're not making red blood cells, you're not going to carry oxygen and you're going to be anemic. So you can't just take iron for anemia. In fact, it's not even the most important thing to do for, uh, for anemia. You want to focus on the B complex. Well, you first you want to focus on toxicity that's getting into the body. Anybody with anemia, focus on toxicity that's getting into the body through the digestive system. Almost everybody who's anemic also has a digestive problem associated with it. Is this a friend of yours or somebody you know? Yes. Kind of like a relative, wife kind of thing, girlfriend, yes. daughter? Girlfriend of mine. Okay. Any issues? You must know she's got some digestive stuff going on. And uh, Isaac, here's the deal. You want to focus on the digestive system. Use the B-complex. Have her, much more important than, uh, than iron for anemia is vitamin B12 injections. If she's got any issues with the stomach, she's not going to be able to absorb vitamin B12, and that will indeed cause anemia. Focus on the B-complex. Use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, get Get on the ultimate enzymes. Use the Z-radical. There's so many more things to talk about here. Protein is also very important for anemia, but most, most important for anemia is focus on digestive health and wellness. And I'm sorry to cut you off, but that's just all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. On our next program, we're going to continue talking about acidity. I'm going to tell you about something you can make right in your kitchen that can help alkalinize your blood that is along the lines of sodium bicarb, but even better. And then we'll talk about this whole fish oil nonsense that's, uh, that's been in the news. Uh, we'll do that on our next Bright Side episode. Thank you guys for being here. Stay tuned for Alex Jones next on most of these stations. Check out my website, PharmacistBen.com. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Hey, everyone. Have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional, quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey, gals. I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors, so it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card, and you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses. Products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a big Berkey at bigberkeywaterfilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1 877 99 Berkey. That's 877 99 B E R K E Y. 